Ah! Aha, Dinky Doo, my heart is, it's just me, Scotty McClure. Now, uh, last week I did a video for you called A Royal Tale. Now, don't panic if you're royal. I'm not going to be letting any great secrets slip. Uh, this one goes back a little bit to the late 1940s. And um, Her Majesty the Late Queen, Her Late Majesty Queen Elizabeth II's father, George VI, King Charles III's grandfather, was the king. And he was a wonderful man. He took on the mantle of king. He took on the mantle of the crown because his brother had abdicated in 1936. And he'd seen the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland through the Second World War as monarch. And um, he had an equerry called Group Captain Peter Townsend. Now you might remember the name because Peter Townsend fell in love with the king's younger daughter, Princess Margaret, and they were very much in love and they were hoping to uh, get married. But Peter Townsend was actually a divorcee and this was very unfashionable and very non-new at the time. And the two of them were not allowed to marry. They also wouldn't have been allowed to announce their engagement because it was too close to the engagement of Princess Elizabeth, later Her Late Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, and um, Prince Philip. Yes, the Duke of Edinburgh. So that was the thing. So Princess Margaret was taking sort of second place to her sister because the whole thing about the crown is that the monarch at the time is the curator and custodian. And therefore, the whole setup of monarchy revolves around the crown and the monarch at the time. So it was King George the Sixth, and uh, George the Sixth was actually very fond of Peter Townsend, his equerry. They got on very well. And when there was a lot of pressure on the king, he could get a little bit nervous, and Peter Townsend would calm him down. They would swap jokes and lyrics and things like that and uh, get on very well. And um, he, was very, he was very fond of Peter. However, they were touring, I think it was South Africa, in a great big open car. And the king and the queen, later Queen Elizabeth, the queen mother, were sitting in the back of the car. There was the driver, and um, there was Peter Townsend, Group Captain Peter Townsend, as equerry, sitting in the front. Nothing uh, uh, particularly remarkable about that, but uh, it was a very tense day. There was a lot of heat. There was a lot of crowds. I think somebody had rushed the car only to press a 10 shilling note into the Queen Mother's hand for the little princesses. But of course, it made the officials nervous. And the king was having a little bit of a nip at the driver, you know, and saying certain things like, uh, you know, uh, slow down or whatever, or watch this and what have you. Anyway, it got to an extent that the atmosphere within the car got a little bit tense. And Peter Townsend turned round to His Majesty the King and said, uh, which was obviously above his pay grade, for heaven's sake, shut up. You'll cause an accident. Anyway, he then turned back round and thought to himself, bye, bye, my royal career. Oh, my goodness, what have I done? Because you never, ever speak to the king like that, regardless of who you are. Anyway, it had just come out very unusual for Peter because he was a very discerning character and he knew exactly how to behave in all circles, royal circles particular. Anyway, he spent the whole day thinking it's only a matter of time till the king sends for me and dismisses me. Anyway, he sat around on the Sunday evening and there was still a light on in the king's study. And around midnight, just prior to midnight, the king's private secretary came down and said, uh, Peter, the king would like to have a word. And he thought, right, here we go. 
Bye bye, Royal Korea. Anyway, Peter went up to the king's study. There was his majesty and he said, Ah, Peter, good evening. And he said, Good evening, Your Majesty. And he said, uh, Peter, I just wanted to say, I think I went a little too far today. And Peter turns and said, No, not at all, sir. And he said, Good night, Peter. And he said, Good night, sir. And that was it. Now, that's what I call a king. That's what I call the most senior officer in the armed forces. Incredible. And I would imagine that King Charles III is a chip off the old block. There we are, because he's his grandson. Dinky-doo.